Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, today I wanted to talk about spiraling again. Um, in my little rant a couple videos ago, uh, somebody actually asked what spiraling actually is and um, I thought about it a little bit and I was like, yeah, that could be kind of confusing because in different households, different cultures and around the world, the way that we speak and the words that we use can sometimes have different meanings. So I thought that it would be an interesting thing to talk about, um, especially considering like early on in my grief, I definitely had some spiraling out of control. And just last week, I felt like I was spiraling. And so I think it's an interesting thing to talk about. At the end of this video, I also have a candle. And so I'm going to start doing something I'm going to try to remember. Um, it's something that we do at uh, one of my grief groups. At the end of it, we light a candle um, for somebody and for a particular reason. So I want to do that because it, uh, it it's... It's kind of like a, a nice memorial or <laughs> a wish or it, it just it it feels good to send love out that way. So so that's something I'm going to be doing. Anyways, um, make sure you like subscribe, hit that notification bell and let's get to it. So um, like I said, somebody asked what spiraling is because myself and other content creators that are in this similar uh, situation um, spiral. And it, it's interesting because there are so many people in this life being a widow or a widower and pretty much all of them that commented or that I've talked to in Facebook or face to face are like, yeah, we spiral, we spiral out of control. So what is spiraling out of control? Spiraling out of control is like becoming a tornado. It can be emotional, it can be physical, it can be the choices that we make. So for uh, for me in, in YouTube world, um, part of that spiraling out of control early on was how I was changing our YouTube channel. It was, you know, bringing Sarah's videos down, putting them up on her own channel, doing this channel, and trying to keep doing the stuff that uh, we were doing with other videos, and just trying to do all these different things. And, and it was a bit of a spiral, and even though people saw that, and some people were very, very, very um, critical of it, and complaining about it and saying that I was a bad husband because of it and blah, 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 bad dad. Anyways, all of those things um, don't help, right? And when, when somebody's spiraling out of control, um, being judged uh, is, is useless. We ignore it. Well, I ignored it. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, but while spiraling out of control, there's also people that... Um, became really, really helpful and comforting and loving and understanding and were able to broach topics. Um, somebody commented a, a kind of a comparison between me and another person uh, about how we spend our money that, you know, at least other widows and widowers aren't wasting money, blah, 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 which is absolutely ridiculous because I would say probably most of us that have any kind of extra income make a, a lot, a lot of really poor financial decisions, myself included. Um, <laughs> the retail therapy is a legit thing and we do waste a lot of money and, um, and that's a thing. And I don't care if anybody wants to judge me on that. I, I really don't care. Um, but it's a thing. And, and that kind of spiraling, that financial spiraling can actually have a negative impact on our future. There are people that I've talked to that did that financial spiral, you know, kind of out of control and ended up not being able to stay in their home and had to sell their home and, you know, not be able to keep their car. And so, so it can have a really negative impact. Um, emotional spiraling is, is, is huge. I think that's the biggest one and we all do it. That was my last week. I was going for walks four or five times a day and crying. I didn't want to cry at work. So I would go for a walk. I would cry and it was kind of an emotional spiral, but it was also a release and it was helpful. Um, so for me, so I found a benefit in doing that, but <clears throat> from the outside looking in, that was a spiral. I was... I was 
seemingly getting worse and worse and worse and worse. Um, but it's going to happen. That's part of this life, right? It's um, things are going to spiral. And I think everybody has their own little things that make their life spiral out of control and, and have them make poor decisions. And, and that's all part of this experience of living and, and it's okay. It, it really is. Um, <clears throat> so spiraling out of control is just, you know, sometimes losing it. And that's okay. Uh, I, I know a lot of people have lost it. And we find our own ways to grieve and to cope and deal. And and it's, you know, um, for those of us that are, are spiraling out of control on YouTube, you're seeing it and judging it. Not everybody's judging it, but people are seeing it and judging it. Not realizing that it's normal. It's common for these behaviors to happen, right? Um, and so that, <clears throat> for me, is one of my goals and why I do these videos and why one of my last videos, I pretty much cried through the whole thing. And my mom was like, I thought you were okay. And I was like, mom, I am okay. But life can suck and I can still be okay. And I can cry. And that's okay. And it's, it's just what it is. And, and I'm finding, interestingly, people not associated with YouTube um, and with our, our viewers and whatnot have been starting to come up to me randomly, people that don't even know my story, and sharing their hardships, which I, I found um, as a compliment and kind of like a new superpower, <laughs> I guess, new skill. Um, and no, I'm still not going to become a therapist, but I definitely am in, in uh, you know, considering other options to help support people and whatnot. But yeah, so spiraling out of control is, is <laughs> absolutely normal. You know, at one minute we'll be laughing, the next minute we'll be crying, the next minute we'll be doing both at the same time. Um, frustrated, angry, all of the emotions can happen at once. And um, decision making is not always the best. And that's just the reality of it. And some of those decisions can be damaging. And, and we get that. Uh, addiction can be a result of it, losing our homes. Um, uh, mental health for the kids, right? There's, there's so many things. And all I can say is while we are spiraling out of control, we are all doing our best and trying to live this life that we didn't ask for. Um, and I don't care that people are judging me. I really don't, especially uh, people out in the world behind a keyboard. I, I absolutely, like, whatever, judge away. It's all good. Um, what I care about most here in these videos is that if you are going through this, you are understanding that you're not alone. Um, and that this community is kind of built together to, to support each other. And if you aren't going through this and you're looking in from the outside, you're able to better understand people around you that are going through this. And when I say understand the people, I mean, my story is my story. The way I react is how I react. Um, and I'm hoping that the little bit of information that I share and how I share, uh, helps you to be able to approach those people, even though that approach may need to be different. Um, and, and maybe you're getting out of this that everybody's shit is different, and that's okay too. So, yeah. Spiraling out of control. Ah! <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny. It's funny that people, like, judge us for it. Um, I, I think it's kind of hilarious. Um, that people judge anybody for any reason, really. But, um, yeah. And so, oh, yeah. Painted my nails again. Rayla. She wanted to do her nails. She did hers green and sparkly. And mine are these two colors. There's a black and sparkly. And then there's kind of this, like, uh, galaxy sort of color. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Um, and sparkly. So, 
that happened. I'm sure I'll get a comment about that. Oh, well. Anywho, I think I'm going to go ahead and call the content of this video good. That's kind of what I wanted to talk about. And um, I, yeah. And so now, if you've made it this far, first candle. And I was really, really debating on on who I should light this candle for. Um, and it, it doesn't matter who we light it for, right? Like, I can write it, light it for Sarah. I can light it for my kids. I can light it for my family. I can light it for whoever I want. Um, to send them, you know, the loves, the feels, the memories, and, and whatever. And... While all of those people are extremely, extremely important to me, I kind of light a candle for them every day. And so what I want to do with this very first candle that I'm going to light, and hopefully I remember future videos to do this, um, but I'm going to light this candle for all of you guys that are going through any kind of hardship. It doesn't have to be grief. You don't have to have um, suffered the death of somebody. You could be going through any kind of difficult thing because I was reminded recently that we all are going through something and all of our shit sucks sometimes. So this candle is for all of you with lots and lots of love and whatever feels you need to have to get through what you're going through. So now I can't blow it out. <laughs> Have a wonderful day, morning, night, wherever you are. Remember, be kind, make good choices, and I will talk with you later.